Now with Press Gaming Act currently being 1-0, and Rascal Jester hopefully tr going to try and shake off the the slow loss that came through from the side of Sengoku Gaming. And we see immediately the Cinder Ban returning, the Akali Ban returning. The Rumble Ban returning for uh, CGA. A lot of the. A, lot, a decent amount of bot lane attention coming out from Crest Gaming Act. <laughs> Rascal Jester banning out the Senna. Actually, from the side of Crest Gaming Act. Somewhat unusual to see the AD bans coming out in this first wave. Usually, uh, the AD the ADs are traded back and forth, but not terribly unlikely. And a TK ban from the side of Crest Gaming Act doesn't want to have that security available to to Art from Vivid on the Tom Kench. An illusion ban. Rounding out our first wave of fans. Set available and a very common first first pick for the red side. Possibly could be opting for the Aphelios as well, but with a lease on the table, nah, hovering over it, possibly looking to lock it up for themselves. And they will opt into it. Rascal Jester immediately locking both Soraka and Set. For for themselves, trade happy to give over the Elise for the Soraka and for the set in the top lane. Now it leaves Crest Gaming Act to decide where their next their next picks are going. They have their jungler confirmed. They have their pick of the AD, of the ADs and supports if they choose to engage. They opt for the Aatrox here to match the set in the top lane. Doesn't want to have to deal with uh, the second wave of bans, giving uh, giving set too favorable of a matchup. Nap feeling com feeling comfortable on the Aatrox, ready to match it and locking in the Aphelios for Gengo on his side of the map. And that will be the Jarvan possibly being picked up here by Rascal Jester. Does risk jungle pool being pinched on the second round. Would not be terribly unlikely, but Rascal Jester now finds themselves in the position of they do need to worry about their AD picks if uh, if Crest Gaming Act decides to pinch the AD pool. We do see the Zoe banned away from Rascal Jester. Did see how difficult it is to play around the Zoe poke and play around the zone control Zoe has over those walls with the with the trouble bubbles and with the paddle stars just throwing so much damage around can be very hard to walk into objectives when uh, the Zoe has control of the map. Crest Gaming Act throwing a ban at Misfortune, which leads us back to Rascal Jester's ban, possibly thinking of banning away another mid laner from the side of Crest Gaming Act, and they will with the LeBlanc ban. Now, Crest Gaming Act, they have their next man available to them. With Senna and Misfortune both banned, and Aphelios already locked away. The Varus ban also coming in. Varus, a very strong team fighting champ. Art, happy to move over to the Ash though. Not, a, not as much damage, but the ult has great utility. Alongside with the Soraka, can keep everyone alive long enough for Ash to pump out a decent amount of damage. Crest Gaming looking at the Kiana possibly for the mid lane, and they will be locking it in. Very potent assassin with the Elise can have a lot of map pressure. We do know how, how easy it is for Kiana to find her way around the map. Uh, and with an Elise running around, possibly putting out as many ganks as possible, will be risky for Ninja to wander too close to that mid lane. 
Grendel picking himself up the Thresh as well. Nautilus still on the table if Vivid would like to, ch it, or if they would like it, but they do have their, but they have the mid lane to worry about uh, right now. And with Vivid's last pick coming in, it does look like he's going to be going towards the Nautilus. That will be locked, will be locked in for the side of Rascal Jester Gaming. So that will be the Soraka mid. Aria will be trying to see if if the Kiana is enough to just bl to knock down that uh knock down the Soraka mid. A lot of poke and a lot of healing, but very high burst potential from Kiana. With the Elise as well, and uh, not a whole lot of mobility on Soraka. Will be risky to see if she's able to play it out correctly. レイニアなってるんですが、これ、ソラカを and we see here, once again, we do have we do have the Bruiser battle in the top lane, and, this, and the bot lane as well. Can be very difficult for Ash to answer Aphelios if he does end up getting the head, so getting ahead. So it, a lot of the onus will fall for Yoshi and Hachimecha to try and see if they can get to if they can influence the lanes because a lot of the lanes have a lot of potential to just keep pushing ahead of course ninja on the soraka mid not exactly the most aggressive pick in the in the in the game at the current moment but can influence the rest of the map very easily さあ、始まりました。エルゼール As we load into the rift here, we can see just fairly normal starts. Hachimecha immediately putting down that defensive ward. Attention always going towards that red side. You want to know where the ju where the junglers are going to be starting, especially when they have as much influence on this game, well, on this early game. In turning and turning any of those lanes into into a small snowball. Although for Aria, the early game can be kind of difficult. Kiana, not a whole lot of mobility, and Ninja does have the potential to just throw down the spells as much as available. Is taking cleanse for the uh, expecting Yoshi to be ganking, wants to cleanse away the stun as it comes in. And we can see here already. The, the just quick, quick Q on O damage coming through on Ninja. Going to be very difficult for Arya to walk up to the wave. Hachimecha roaming into that red side. We do see Yoshi opting to clear his Gromp before rotating. As Hachimecha now looping onto this bot lane, looking to get an early kill. Flash from Vivid onto Gango is going to get him hooked up, rooted up. Gango barely flashes away from the EQ, but Hachimecha commits his own flash to get the empowered auto onto Gango. And that is going to be him going down very early on into this game. We do see that we have the EQ. We did see actually great play from Vivid. He flashes forward early just to get the root auto off and Gango commits both flash and heal but with the hook available or with the hook still held on Vivid that entire time he's able to just keep him locked up long enough for, for Hachimecha to show and use his EQ combo. A great flash from Gango but does not get him out in time as Yoshi takes a peek into 
Hachimecha's jungle wants to see if he can steal away any camps early for Hachimecha's early aggression. That is one part of this of this lane that Arya can look forward to. Does have the lane clear advantage um, on the Kiana over the Soraka? Can throw a lot of the a lot of spells at that lane at that lane and just kind of clear them out. Look to make role plays. Look to link up with the jungler. As Hachimecha does a little bit of counter jungling of his own. Walking into uh, into CGA's side, stealing away the camps. The, uh, the, the chickens are level one, so not not too big of an XP steal, but he wants to be in position to be aggressive on this bot side. And although Hachimecha may have been spotted taking those chickens, it is actually not a terrible position to be in for uh, Rascal Jester. Once you see Hachimecha on that side, Gango and Grendel need to respect it, especially with Gango's flash unavailable to him. And now, Arya looking to get a little bit of aggression onto Ninja, but Ninja looking immediately looking back to try and trade and heal some of that back up. Although the poke may be good from Ninja, he does have to worry about just the all-in potential from Arya as they get closer to 6. Hachimecha going again onto Gango, looking to see if he can find room for the EQ. Gets the hook onto Grendel, so they turn they turn aggro. Grendel, no aftershock left to protect him. A 1W auto is going to get it, but two TPs coming in. Now hiding towards the alcove. Nap going in onto Art, but is getting EQ'd, pulled around, and not able to get away. The Kaka commits the flash W in. Vivid now possibly going down, but very low members on the side of CGA. Kaka barely walking out of this one. Now Art finding his way back in, seeing if he can pick any more up. The W slows, just making those fights drag out very favorably for Rascal Jester, and they find themselves three kills on uh, out of that exchange. And that is with Ninja's ult unavailable, so not even the Soraka ult to come in and clean those er, and help turn those fights around. That is a beautiful fight for the side of Rascal Jester. Nap immediately wanting to go in on Art, committing so aggressively towards him, just too too much CC to try to get around that Art is able to hide into the alcove and get away. We'll watch this one more time. So Hachimacha walking towards Gengel, making it look like he's going to go on him, but Grendel, or Vivid finding the hook onto Grendel, makes the new target there. We see two TPs immediately coming in as as Art now is forced to move away. Nap all inning onto Art, but the EQ comes in. The root from Nautilus, the pull from Kokok as Kokok flashes. Kokok didn't need to flash, Vivid did land the hook, but the flash W does secure it. And now just blinking health bars as Yoshi goes a little bit too deep trying to find the kills. Art picks up one more for himself before the end of that exchange. And Arya looking a little bit, trying to get a, trying to see if he can land the stun to support Yoshi coming in for that, but not quite able to get there. Decent vision control onto this red side makes it for a safe invade, but Rascal Jester immediately looking towards this mountain dragon, seeing if they can get their hands on an early objective. And as they pick themselves up, one more objective, trying to look again at this mid lane, but unfortunately not able to get a whole lot off. Ninja just, Ninja aptly playing safe, does, knows, uh, knows it's not worth pushing up too far, because the second you're too far out, Yoshi is going to be looking, Arya has the combo available to him. And with both flash cleanse available to Ninja, it's going to be a hard force either way. Yoshi going to be handing over his blue buff to Arya, hopefully trying to keep Arya's poke up with the Qs, trying to keep aggression up in that lane. 
レベルも6になれば、また非常に強力ですしね。また,またボットですよね。Now we look towards the bottom lane once again. We can see a small CS lead also forming with, from our after getting the better end of a few of these fights. As the CS lead grows for Art in the bot lane, Crest Gaming answers with a CS lead both mid and top side. Now, Rascal Jester could be turning their attention towards that, uh, towards that Rift Herald very soon if they so choose. And it looks like they're on to they're on to the invade here. They know that uh, that Crest Gaming is kind of wandering into the jungle, and it looks like they're looking for fights. Pings coming out from the side of Rascal Jester. They're walking towards them. They're looking for these fights. Arya going in finds the old on to on to Hachimecha, and Hachimecha is going to go down. Commits a flash out as Vivid is now forced to run for his life. The R barely missing. Gangle flashing forward trying to find it. Vivid commits the R the the R to try and just slow. Gango down, but now they might be diving onto Art. No ult available to try and peel for himself. Grendel looks like he might be going down a turret here. Art barely surviving the Q from Arya. And now Ninja and Art, low HP, under turret, but no ability from CJA to try and tank. We do see Arya grabbing, grabbing another two kills after the end of this fight, but... Hachimecha a little bit too far forward. Arya ready, ready and willing to engage on that. And the rest of RJ not quite in position to fight and to try and uh, to try and contest. And now we'll see how how CJ is able to keep these kinds of fights going in their favor. They did see, they did have a great showing, and we do see the deadly combo of Kiana Elise running around the map on them. Hachimecha will have to give them a little bit more respect. As we look towards this top lane, you see Nap with a slight CS advantage, a little bit easier all-in potential, but Kong Kong with that early, uh, with the early ninja tabbies, can be actually very hard to to poke down with the passive and with the passive healing and the healing from uh, from Dorn Shield. A lot of the Q poke from Nap. Not gonna stick for very long. Arya going all in on Ninja, the ult barely missing, and Ninja smartly kiting up and away, does get the ult out and loses out on a lot of the kill pressure there. No ignite on Arya does mean that. Ooh, and Yoshi finds a great stun on to Hachimecha. Hook comes in. Hachimecha pulled in. Uses a Zanyas, but might be a fruitless effort as Arya finds another kill. War the ward, uh, the ward over the wall gives a great read as Hachimecha wanders a little bit too close to to Crest Gaming Act territory. That is going to be the that is going to be the power of the uh, of this bot of the uh, mid jungle combo. They're playing very aggressively towards this bot side. They're playing always in their face. They're always running around there. And now with Moby's available to Thresh, he's constantly getting involved in the action too, moving into that river, taking what taking away. Uh, taking away vision and looking, just setting things up that allow for these plays to happen. And now, with the Cloud Drake coming up, you wonder if Rascal Jester is going to commit for this trade. This is a, this has been the second time that just plays in the bot lane have not exactly gone their way. So, will will Hachimecha still be willing to wander into the jungle? Still be willing to contest for that vision as aggressively as he has been so far? Arya running up to put a pink ward onto that, onto the, uh, onto the Rift Herald, wants to make sure that they know if Hachimecha decides to go for it, and it looks like they will be setting up for this Drake very soon.
And it looks like Hachimecha clearing off the pink board. It's actually going in on the, the Rift Herald, but speaking of going in, Ninja's ult barely saving him from Arya going in on him. And that is actually going to be him limping away. Ignite not going to be able to take down Arya's ult. Arya's Ignite coming in a, just a little bit too, a little bit too under... Uh, a little bit too under damage. And now Nap is finding himself in an interesting position, but the team is here to help him. Hachimecha does get the get the uh, Rift Herald, but at what cost? Does cost his life for it. Has the Rift Herald available to him now, but that is that is Hachimecha going from 2-0-2 to 2-3-2 and 2 very quickly. Just being, on, being in the wrong places at the wrong time. CGA ready for where he wants to be and seems to be reading it out quite well. Now Cogcog looking for a fight onto Nap. Nap kind of willing to scrap a bit with him, but nothing too insane committed from either side. And we do see a little bit of swamp coming out. Gango now moving towards the mid lane. Arya now moving towards this bot lane as they continue to put pressure into this bot lane river. And we can see Rascal Jester grouping around that bot lane river, expecting something and knowing that they need they need a full manpower in order to take down the vision that CGA is currently setting up there. And with Ocean Soul becoming avail available to them, now they have the opportunity to take a very threatening soul with the amount of pressure that CGA has over this bot lane. And although CGA may have the pressure from mid and jungle into this bot side, you can see the item advantage of the early uh, uh, on art over Aphelios here. So Ash does have the item completion, and if is if the fights break out how how they want, Rascal Jester can kind of have the upper hand in longer engages. The problem soon becomes that Kiana can get deep in there, and a five and zero Kiana can be very hard to deny. Speaking of denying, Grendel flashing forward. The flay hits, but the hook misses. Goes golden. Art trying to just play these fights out as best he can. Gengo not able to walk up too far. Not able to find enough damage. Gengo commits or Art oh, commits ult onto Gengo and is now going to be able to burn him down on the top side of the map. EQ goes in and Hachimecha and and Kogkog do find two for themselves on the other side. Gango able to limp away with a, with a pixel of HP, but Hachimecha now committing the the uh, the Herald here will be able to go down and knock down this bot lane turret, giving themselves a little bit more breathing room into this bottom side. Crest Gaming looking to trade a turret of, for turret of their own, or at least just get some CS under turret as quickly as possible as Gengo realizes he needs it back. So we'll watch this one more time. Ninja wandering in, Arya finds him out, gets rooted up so he's not able to chase, but he does commit flash immediately after, and that combo is so deadly, so quickly. And now we see here, watch Art as he commits ult. He's already autoing onto one, and he commits ult onto Gengo to try and see if he can pick up one more kill. Gengo barely lives, but the damage he puts into Cog Cog there, or excuse me, into uh into nap there before he commits the ult onto onto gango actually works so well for hachimecha and for kongkong to finish off nap in the top in the upper end of that fight and art picking himself up more gold is actually becoming a bit is reaching his online point much faster than the Aphelios is. Aphelios not able to find as much victory in these fights, just not able to contest the amount of damage that Art has. Aphelios needs those items, needs a little bit of time to scale, while Art seems to be will ready and ready and able to take these fights. Ooh, and the ult commit from art will uh, the art the ult commit from art forces the repel, but a good repel and a good lantern will yoink Yoshi right out of there. Now art wandering into the jungle, looking to poke his head around, see what camps are up, see what he can find. Yoshi throwing some spiders out, not trying to commit too terribly hard. 
With no Ash Hero available for the moment, you do have some room to be slightly more aggressive in how and what you look for, where the vision you poke it around. More poke coming out from the Elise, but now Rascal Jester looks towards this Ocean Drake, knows how powerful the Ocean Soul can be. They are going to look for the fight. Arya on a good end of this fight to try and initiate something, but Hachimecha and Kogkog seem ready to try and push him away. Now it's the top side of the fight. Yoshi's walking a bit too close, forced to repel as Hachimecha ults in, but is going to go down very quickly. And now Vivid Kogkog pulls Nap over the wall alongside Arya, is brawling with the two of them as a the bottom side. Vivid now looking for the hooks. Is going to be able to land it onto the onto the thresh and get him down. But on the upper end of this fight, CGA seems to be routed. Flash forward from Gogog as he pulls both in. Is going to be able to give Vivid the hook onto Ophelios. And now, now we have Yoshi in air, but not anywhere that he can live. And Nap is going to try and focus down Art. He, he barely doesn't do it, actually. The heal forced out from Art as the healing from Conqueror and from the ult is just not enough for uh, for Nap to win that fight out. The Drake goes unsecured, but that is a great fight for the side of Rascal Jester. Now watch this one more time. There's multiple ends of this fight to be watching. You can see Kogog walking down, pushing Arya out of the fight. Yoshi walks up a little bit too close, and Hachimecha goes in. Hachimecha ults. He knows he's going to die here, but he can keep everyone involved over on that side for long enough that Kogog is able to ult two people over the wall and just get that fight going. He's able to brawl it out on that top side, while on the bottom side, it leaves it leaves a thresh alone to die and now as they're routed Kogog flashing forward with the W dredge line ends up connecting on to on to Gengo and now we have an issue of just multiple members of CGA routed towards not even their side of the map and Rascal Jester finds himself a great fight there around that Drake and ends up picking it up in the in the time down Gango narrowly avoiding that arrow as he walks up. He actually walked up to the top brush to throw a Q and walked out of the out of the uh, line of pa uh, the line of impact with Art's arrow. Now, Arya still has not been toppled and has these six kills, but has not been able to get to Art, has not been able to get to the damage dealers that Rascal Jester has. And with Ninja on the Soraka, putting in that healing, being that extra support and keeping his team topped off, doesn't feel like Arya is able to completely burst out Art, or at least is not able to find his way towards her. Between Vivid and Hachimecha and Kogkog just posing too much of a big bodied threat in the way of Arya, we have to try to, fi CGA will have to figure out how they get to Art and how they get the crucial damage onto the right people. And on the side, as we return towards the neutral state, you can kind of see Cog Cog on the bot side. The the minion wave is pushing in. They have some time before it re meets on the uh, on their bot side. As we just opt to clear some clear waves here. Top lane crashing again in the middle. So, Rascal Jester is not in a position where they need to move anywhere. But CGA throwing hooks out finds Cogcog, but not exactly a member that you or not exactly a a champion you can engage on easily. Arya goes up, looking to just pick up some of the CS, see what vision they have around. Is actually going to miss the ward from RJ. He's not going to walk into the bush to see it. Ult is going to find his way onto Gongo, but uh, under turret, he's not going to be able to get engaged on. Hachimecha flayed out of his EQ. Grendel might be going down to Art as Art just presses forward. Vivid finds a hook onto, onto Gengo. Gengo, er, Gengo is not going to go down, but Kakaga is ulting Arya away from, his, uh, from away from his carries. Art is in melee range, willing to scrap, but barely makes it out. He's not going to be able to burn down, not going to be able to be burned down by the ignite just yet but that is a huge shutdown from uh from the side of rascal jester as now they look to knock down this mid lane turret 
and you can see Rascal Jester actually doing a great job of just picking zone control during these fights. Multiple times, it's just one member after the other gets CC'd, gets some damage, and is forced to walk away. And with Kogkog holding his ult for Arya so that Arya does not have the opportunity to all in art, it's actually working out beautifully for them. Kogkog is actually going to go down here, getting pulled in, but Vivid, a beautiful hook onto Yoshi is going to knock him down as well. Grendel trying to walk away. The turret is going to get knocked down, but they are not going to be able to opt for any more. As a 5, 0, and 8, Ash, two items already completed and a lot of gold over in this most recent fight. Watch the replay one more time. So, one after the other. So, Ninja gets hooked up here and Art commits the ult. Gango out of the fight for the moment. And then the EQ gets flayed out of it, but Hachimecha just keeps Yoshi away. And we'll see Ninja on this backline as Vivid goes forward. Cog Cog immediately comes in for the ult onto Arya to pull him away from the, from the, uh, from the Ash and from the Soraka, knowing that the one job, uh, the one job Arya wants is just to blow up those members of, R of RJ. And now we were set to neutral once more. Ocean Drake coming up soon. And with the way Rascal Chester has been playing out these fights, it might just be them theirs to take. Crest Gaming Act either, either needs to find a way in or needs to find a way through. Just kind of getting picked apart at different angles and diff getting pulled in different directions is allowing Art to just get the time he needs to do the damage he needs every time he's doing damage just slowly being uh slowly trying to run away every member of cga in turn while they're not able to turn the fights in their favor and RJ already grouping for this Drake. Arya sneaking over the wall and into the uh, the extended bush from the blue buff. Ocean Drake is immediately aggroing onto Arya, so they will find him out. But they they drag it out a bit. They want to take this Drake. They know that they can they can force the fight. Yoshi coming around here, possibly thinking about stealing. Arya with a huge ulti, but is not going to do enough. Cataclysm is going to lock him up long enough for damage to come through. Ninja looking around for more heals, and this fight is just peeling apart. Art is just kiting everyone out and knocking people down with a slow, methodical, just ash slows that are just keeping everyone around, and the multiple pulls on the side of Rascal Jester is just allowing them to take one target at a time and just focus them down. Every time Art is landing W or the Empowered Q, Kogkog is pulling them in. Vivid is pulling them in. Hachimecha is knocking them up and keeping them locked up in the Cataclysm. And just one after the other, the uh, the cl the members of uh, Crest Gaming Act just seem to be falling. And with Baron secured for the side of Rascal Jester, Ocean Soul possibly coming in next. This is looking like a hard game for Cre uh, for, Res uh, for Crest Gaming Act to try and pull back. You'll watch here one more time. Ult comes through from Arya, but the Cataclysm is just going to keep him there long enough. Then Art and Ninja going forward, fearless in the face of Nap. Vivid pulls him aside. Cog Cog pulls Gango back in. Just multiple fights that are just going the way of Rascal Jester through just one at a time, picking your targets and painting... Paint your targets, knock them down. Just one after the other. Beautiful team fighting coming out from Rascal Jester here. Now, Ganko is getting towards his items and is getting closer to the point of being able to have the same presence in these team fights. But Rascal, uh, but Rascal Jester is so far ahead of this point. As you can see by the gold graph here, Art is just a full item ahead and is being so hard to contest. And with Ocean Soul coming up, it could be a very quick way for Rascal Jester to just have too much healing to be dealt with from the side of Crest Gaming Act. Arya still is that threat, but does not seem like he can find his way around the members of Rascal Jester that are just there to help, there to keep the the bot, bot mid duo from going down. And as they push down this mid turret and bot turret with the uh, with the Baron empowered minions, we'll have to see if if 
Crest Gaming Act will go for an engage if they'll try to pick a fight or if they will just lose objectives one after the other as the titan of Rascal Jester and their 8,000 gold lead just knock down objective after objective. They're being split across the map and it fe it's feeling harder and harder for Crest Gaming Act to find the engages that they so desperately desire at this point. Another turret being knocked down didn't secure the inhib in the mid lane, but will have the Baron minions to just do it for them as now they rotate back up to take that inhib as well. They rotate out here knowing that they've got everything they can in the mid and bot lanes. Now they have a top lane that they can attend to free and uncontested, knowing that they have super spawning in two waves. With, with Ocean Soul available to them in 1 minute and 30 seconds, resets now would be the time. And you can see here just the amount of gold available to Art. It expressed in the item advantages and also in the shutdown as he remains deathless in this game. And as Crest Gaming Act tries to just clear out these mid these uh these minions, tries to clear out the super minions, uh, you can already see ra uh excuse me, you can already see Rascal Jester poising towards this bottom side. Putting it, putting up vision, setting up their time. Arya in the top lane is going to secure this turret, but will have to hurry down if he wants to be there in time for this dragon fight. Crest Gaming Act is going to be somewhat forced to take the fight here. As Rascal Jester secures more vision, gets a hook onto Hachimecha, but not quite able to do much about it. Not a, not a whole lot of members in positions that they can take a, take a fight very quickly. You do have Art's arrow available to him. And they possibly will consider using it, but with the uh, with the spell shield on Arya, not going to be able to commit that towards him anytime soon. And Rascal Jester starting up the Drake will opt to drag it out and see if they can drag it away. Vivid waiting in the bush, but they find they find Nap on the wrong end of that fight. And Arya going over the wall onto Art here. Art is going to lose his GA, but will it be enough? Hachimecha is holding up Gengo as long as he can, but this this could be a bad fight for Rascal Jester if they don't have their carry. But it doesn't seem like it matters. Gengo getting ulted and getting ulted and comboed around. Grendel is the last remaining member, just trying to get away. Arya getting sniped by Art's ult. Cog teleporting into the base looks like he will not be able to back in time as they sec they won't even opt to finish the ocean soul Cog now has his time with the inhibitor as they f they harass and just keep Arya from backing another kill over to ninja as he knocks down the turret once they had they may have had the GA down but art will go deathless and rascal uh, jester will secure themselves their first win of week one for the LJL A great showing from Rascal Chester. It seemed like they played the team fights exactly how they wanted to. And the Soraka healing just gives them the amount of breathing room. Just plays the fight, the fight slow enough that they are able to just one by one knock down targets. They don't have to be too threatened. And even with a fed Arya, they just, Arya was not able to find the damage onto the right members fast enough. A great showing from a great showing from both teams. Rascal Jester will come out victorious, and that will be one and one for both Rascal Jester and Crest Gaming Act in week one of the LJL. I have been your broadcaster for the evening, Dr. No. If you would like to leave me any reviews, my Twitter DMs are always open. I, I, it is at underscore Dr. No underscore. You can feel free to follow here or on Twitter to know when I am going live for more broadcasts.